church. Sit in your seat, hands in your lap. Don't wiggle in your seat. Look directly at the pastor. Don't let your legs sway when, pl- when prayer lasts too long. Don't yawn too loud or too often. Don't flip the onion skin pages of your Bible too haphazardly. Don't look behind you when someone sneezes. Don't ever question the word of God. My mom asked me why I didn't believe in the Bible. I felt the air compress me and the blood leave my cheeks. We were in, tr- in the church parking lot. I wanted to tell her, but I knew she wouldn't listen. The words were bur- burning coals at my feet, but I couldn't pick them up because they would burn the church to pieces. If she looked into my eyes, she would see the fire and brimstone, and at night she'd pray for my damn soul. I should have told her that when I sit in the congregation, my cries are muffled by ubiquitous amens. You won't hear my voice when the pastor says, he loves gays, but hates to see the fact that they'll burn in hell. You will only see me grimace when the youth pastor says, the duty of a woman is to birth and raise children. I guess it's hard to hear the voice of someone destined for the kitchen. dress. I yank at the threads of the words of scripture, but the words of scripture only tighten their cuffs on my holy temple of a body. And as we all know, temples are depicted as architectural works of art. Mosaics on walls, statues on columns, God's hand reaching reaching out to a nude of Adam. Shown off with the highest respect and admired by passers-by, but my temple is hidden in the shadows of the whitest, most masculine temples. I can't talk about my vacant temple. Each individual work of art is covered by a cloth and pushed to the side. No one wants to see the brilliance hidden by curtains. And eventually, I didn't want to either. Adam's thighs were too fat anyway. The statue of David is no, no longer supported by confidence. Rather, he is drooping in shame, and the Virgin Mary meets, weeps for what could have been. I hate my temple. The pride I'm supposed to have has disappeared in the rubble left by holy destruction. When I stopped believing, I was more alive than anyone in that congregation. I ripped the curtains to shreds and opened the doors. I could just shout from the rooftops, but instead I say, where'd you get that idea, Mom?